What's up, everybody? It's your boy Ooch, and uh, back again, once again. How y'all doing today? All right, we've been waiting for this freaking chapter for a month now. It seems like eternity every single time. So I don't want to waste none of y'all's because I'm actually technically still working. So let's get right into it. All right, so I love already. I've, we're starting off by showing us what we want to see. This is Bardock versus Gas part two. All right, here we go. All right, so we have Manito. He's holding baby uh, granola. Manito says, Bardock, we'll take what fate hands us. You've done enough. There's no reason for you to lay down your life here. Run and save yourself. Oh, what? That's crazy. And then Gas says, I should mention, you could flee right now, but the Saiyans aren't fated to last much longer anyway. Do they... Does he know something that Bardock does not? Oh yeah? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing much. Just something I heard from Elik. Oh man, so they, so them, them overlords, they be, they be talking amongst themselves. Okay, okay, I, I wonder. See, I wonder if there's a connection between the Heaters and Frieza's race, but we'll, 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 we'll get to that later. I've heard enough cryptic crap out of you. It's you and your gang who got no future. Oh! He threw a he probably threw a riot javelin. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. At least shots of the video games. Yeah, I'll show you guys exactly what the heck I'm looking at here. Mmm, yeah, look at that. He that nice curvature throw, man. Come on now. That's definitely what it is. Ooh, and he's blocking. Okay, so he's he blocks that shot. Oh man, yo, this is getting bloody. Yo, do the spike balls. Bro. Damn, dude, he's yeah, he's like he's, he's he's got some blood coming out of his mouth. He tosses him back. Dude, Bardock is oh, dude, this is probably the coolest we've ever seen Bardock. Like no cap, no lie. I like I'm pretty convinced that um this is the coolest that we'll, we're, we're we've seen Bardock yet. Listen closely. This is my fight now. You two are in the way, so get out of here. So then he goes in, charges after gas, follows up. Your blows feel like pinpricks against. Uh, Kachintite. What is 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 Kachintite like the the heart like the like the toughest um, what do you call that? Is that is that like the the, the toughest material or something like that? Because I I I don't remember exactly what the uh, material that they use for the tournament of power is called. It's been so long, but I remember there being a specific type of material that was like so sturdy that like it would literally take the gods to like destroy it for real for real. So okay. Enough of these irritating sorry excuses for attacks. I said enough. Oh wow! So then he like he does like some type of Pikachu electricity attack, and then he freaking zaps Bardock down to the ground. Gas is like, on uh, he's he's on he's on his. Oh, the tusk came out of his of his head. Okay, I can't afford to waste more time on you. You wouldn't mind if I unleash a bit of my inner nature, would you? Mm, inner nature. Here we go with this inner stuff. Okay. And so then Manito goes back, and this is the last page of the previews that we were looking at. So if you missed out on my short or my TikTok, um, you'll be able to see my quick reaction to the preview pages. I'm going to try to do those a lot sooner, like as soon as the preview images are out. So that way, you know, there's more hype around it. But I did upload those last night, so they're still up if you want to check those out. But Manito then says, so he has the two Dragon Balls in his hands, right? He's like, using the Dragon Balls for our own benefit is forbidden. But it should be okay if my wish helps someone from another planet. <sighs> what the hell is a wish? He better he better tell him I wish this saying to be stronger than all of the legends. Right? That would be the only wish I'd be cool with seeing just to see freaking godlike Bardock come out. Damn it. So your kind can adjust their power levels, huh? And then Gas says, oh, this is far from the full extent of the power slumbering within me. I suppose you've lost the will to fight back now. And then Bardock says, ha, you wish. Nothing gets my blood pumping like a powerful foe. Oh, yo, yo. My man, yo, the father like son. Okay. And then he gets freaking dynamic entries right in the stomach. Oh, look at this. This looks like it hurts. Mm. Got him right in the gut with that one. And he hits him down and through through a, a little mountain, John. Oh, and then in the distance, you actually see the dragon being summoned. State your wish. If it is within my power, your single wish is my command. 
Send Bardock back to his- Oh my god, really? Send him back to his home planet? Did he- Nah, 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 okay, okay. Let's, let's just, let's just keep reading before I totally have a freaking freak out here. So he's fighting and then, okay, so then Manito speaks, I guess, to him telepathically. He goes, hear me, Bardock. It is Manito's wish that I should transport you. Oh, wait, no, no, it's not him speaking telepathically. It's somebody else. Okay, hear me, Bardock. It is Manito's wish that I should transport you to your home planet, Vegeta. He goes, well, what the? Whose voice is this? I am the wish-granting dragon known as Toronbo. Okay, so these dudes got names. I don't know if they, they said that in the beginning of this arc, and I totally forgot if they did, but uh, Toronbo is the is this planet's Shenron, right? So Toronbo is literally telling Bardock about what he's gonna do, which is actually, I don't think they've ever given the person that's about to get sent like a heads up like this before. I know Shenron didn't let Broly know he was gonna go to Vampa. Um, and then Gas peeks. He goes, who is he speaking to? Huh? What is that? So then they, they go back to the dragon. Oh, so Torumbo freaking. So he has to confirm or deny if if it's like the wish is for somebody else. They have to ask for permission before they do it. So I, I think it is, it is kind of interesting that all the dragons do serve like a different type of purpose. Like, I mean, naturally, their purpose is all the same to grant wishes, but... They, they each have different conditions, which I think adds a little bit of layers to it, which I, I can appreciate. So that's good. So the Torumbo says, I am afraid he has refused. And he, my man, when I thought, what? And Bardock says, a Saiyan would rather die than run from an enemy. Oh, oh, Bardock is on fire right now. Freaking, let's go. Okay, so he's, he's charging, he's hitting him. And then Gasol, your attacks barely tickle. Yeah, I mean... Gas is really like Bardock's not 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 doing much. So I yo, come on, let's let come on. We gotta see it happen. Here we gotta see how Bardock uh, on the floor says, "Damn it!" He goes, "Listen, Bardock." Okay, so this is Manito talking to him. I think this time. So it's you this time, Manito. I sure wish you wouldn't put voices in my head on some Randy Orton shit, right? You showed real moral fiber saving us back there, and that was more than enough. I've got no doubt that the kindness in your heart is going to save someone else someday. That's why you need to live. And then Bardock says, hmm, sorry, but I don't take orders from anyone. And I'm not leaving this place until I've beaten him. What? What's it going to take to make you see reason? Fine, then tell me, is there another wish I could make for you? Oh, okay. I'm just trying to help you. What's this all about anyway? Are you making a wish on sh a shooting star or something? But sure, I wish that my sons end up thriving. Is that the actual wish though? Cause, cause I mean, I like, I love, I love that line, but I also love, well see, okay. I don't think, I don't think that's the real wish. And I can tell you right now, right now, Radis did not thrive. <laughs> He did not thrive. And the fight's still going. So now the other, like, uh, the other heaters get some lines. This is really dragging on. I guess Gas has met his match. Hey, what's that weird glow over there? So they notice. That's, you know, where, where uh, Toronbo is. Huh, I don't know. That isn't e even where the fight's going on. And Elik is like, but it is near the old Namekian's hut. Oh, snap. The wish was made. Oh man, I wonder, I wonder what the, oh, mm, okay. So the, you see the two Dragon Balls split. I wish for tasty food. I wish for tasty food. I wish for, quit it, idiot. Those probably aren't shooting stars. I'm curious now. Let me check it out. You two go ahead and prep to greet Frieza's ship. Is this where we're going to see Frieza cameo? Low key through a, a freaking flashback? Sure. Yeah, he has the right idea. A wish... A wish is way too... A wish is... Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, he has the right idea. A wish is a way to create hope for the future. Selfish wishes can only bring about doom. And I was about to make a grave mistake. Um, and so then he looks back at a uh, knocked out little kid in Granola. I meant to protect what hope we've got left with all I've got. 
So what? So what wish did he make, son? Cause I I still see Bardock getting freaking destroyed over here. Look at this. We got all these. We got we got all these shots of my man just my man just getting knocked around and everything. Like he literally he's like he's yamcha in the ground over here. Like what's going on here? So then Gas says you've overstayed your welcome. <gasps> oh no, he got him by the tail. Oh no, he's doing the Hulk stuff. He's doing what Broly did to Frieza. Oh no. Yo, he's trying to yank it. <gasps> he popped his tail off. Oh my god, he literally popped his tail off. Bro, he literally popped his tail off. Dude, that's crazy. No more giant ape form for you now. It's over, Saiyan. Prepare to die. Something's about to happen this next this next page. He throws the spear. Oh! <gasps> Whoa, my night, yo, my Naito took the spear straight. Well, it looked like it's, it's at his shoulder, but still, holy crap! Why would you do? Whoa, sorry about before, but now I'm ready to protect Renault no matter what. So do me a favor and win this one for us, Bardock. At every turn, you two insist on disrupting my work. Ah, and then, oh my God! Now gas powers up, dude. This is getting this is getting too insane, too close for comfort right now. Holy shit. And then so then Bardock goes to save Manito from gas because now gas is in his like rage berserk form and he's like charging at him. Manito gets knocked back in the rubble. And then okay, listen. I know I've been saying that this dude is about to be on some primal instinct type stuff, but now that he doesn't have a tail, so now he's in a Broly situation. He might still access that, which would, I guess, make some sort of sense. But it, will we see him go Super Saiyan? I don't know. I don't know. Because Broly did it. That's like the form that they get when they can't they can't get, could get to their primal instinct that's inside them, okay? So... So then he's got him by the throat, and then he says, The Namekian you sought to protect is gone, and I will soon track down and kill the child. As you die, know that you failed to protect no one. That's not your call to make, and I'm not dying before I've beaten you. So then he tries to do the same type of riot-type javelin up in his face, point blank. Obviously, no scratch, but Bardock's still fighting back. Dude, my man is in base form, just literally trying to give it his all towards Gas. And we already know how strong Gas is, just seeing how he's going up against Goku and them currently right now. Like, this is this is amazing. This is Realize, this is the most time we've seen Bardock actually get since his uh, story of Bardock, history of Bardock, whatever, um, the special that happened way back in the day, right? So this is, this is actually really freaking awesome. So he actually manages to kick Gas back into the rubble. Gas is pissed. Bardock stands tall. Gas goes, what do you hope to achieve? Why fight a battle you cannot win? Is this atonement as you face death? Are you atoning for the sins of all saints by protecting the child? Bardock says, no. Yada. So then Gas says, revenge then? Giving into your rage over us killing the Namekian and the Cerulean woman? wrong again <laughs> oh okay wait a minute hold on we got a little we got, I, I saw something hold on then why why fight what is it running through your skull as you do battle so he powers up something happens here uh look at look at look please look at this page okay look look at that page okay my man there's something's clearly going on here so then he he whoa wait a second so he so he takes a punch he catches it isn't it obvious by now? In a life and death battle, what sort of idiot would think about anything else besides victory? And then he freaking one inch punches him in the freaking gut. Bardock says, I fight when there's an enemy I wanna beat down, nothing more to it. And then blasts him away. Okay. And then now Gas is like on the defense, like he's in, in more rubble. You Saiyans have no ascended states beside the great ape. 
you're ignorant and that's my fault nah see we saiyans have a way of growing and evolving every time we push past our limits <laughs> okay that's absurd i represent a limit that no lowly saiyan can surpass it cannot be oh my god but yo but bardock's really yo but bardock's coming up like he's just he's just he's just coming through man like he just he's he's kicking him he's punching him and then elik actually watching by he goes uh we went and let his inner nature loose and then and then guys like ah oh. and then bardock's like i'm ending this and then get out of here he really defeated him like that okay so i'm under the impression that bardock had to have done at least what broly was doing there was no way because he didn't even go super saiyan he literally like he just got an aura we don't even know what color it was because this is black and white and he blasted him to the point where he knocked him out and back into like his little his little form look at this like, look at like, like look at him he's like he, he he's like he's taking like the child form again he, he got totally bodied so like that's crazy and then Ela goes down to pick him up i didn't think you'd lose control after unleashing yourself a real shame we'll have to double down on training oh, okay so maybe he wasn't like maybe he obviously got strong well okay that does make sense because he got stronger over time so that way he wouldn't lose to you know someone like this again so maybe even though he was in his his berserk rage form it still wasn't like you know like crazy strong as it is nowadays he's still alive really i i thought you were loyal to frieza when it comes to business there's the hand you show and the hand you don't speaking of your kind doesn't even know what frieza is really planning right huh <laughs> you sayings are such gullible saps while you're in a daze playing catch up don't be surprised if a meteor drops on your head explain what you mean oh wow so yo is it is it elik that tell that warns bardock about the destruction of the saiyans bro that's od wouldn't you like to know well how about nah oh man so he shoots bardock right in the arm he gets knocked off the cliff and he falls and then elik is like i missed and then he gets alerted from something else what mac freeze the ship is incoming get your butt over here it's like, ah, fine, I'll be right there. And then whatever, he doesn't need my help to die after all that. So then he takes, he takes Gas's carcass and they fly off. Bardock is, still, is just chilling there in the ground. And then Manito falls out of some rocks. And then he's like coughing. It's like, where's Bardock? There, he finds him. Bardock, he's still alive. He's like, I'd ask you the same thing, Manito. And it takes more than that to put on a Namekian down. You don't say, good, I take it the Cerulean kid is okay too. He goes, yup, he is. He, he's like, yup, he is. Those thugs left us for dead and headed off. You won the battle, Bardock. So that's how he wins. Okay, so we see the whole fight. So overall, I did enjoy the chapter a lot. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a little upset though that it wasn't on the dramatic end of things with thinking that, yo, what if Bardock pulls out this primal instinct first type stuff? But, you know, he, I, I do think and I would like to believe that he did something a little similar to what Broly did in the movie where obviously he doesn't have access to his great ape state and at this point in time in the story even people like uh gas they they are aware of what the sands are able to transform into and at this point they are only aware of their great apes forms but because he didn't have his tail he popped that off and i guess you know he he powered up i mean it really did look like visually that there was some sort of transformation like state that bardock was clearly in and he was able to out power and out strengthen gas during this fight so that much is what we know and if you relate it to the events that are happening currently it might seem a little bit underwhelming based on all of the theories that myself and many others have had but it does line up and it does fit very well with how the story has been told 
as we know gas is a character that suffered through a loss from a low class saiyan and took that experience and after 40 years keep that in mind 40 years of whatever type of training that they went through that is how he's able to basically go toe to toe with the likes of the strongest in the universe and goku and vegeta being in their ultra ego forms ultra instinct and whatever and on top of that having a stacked wish of him to be the strongest in the universe at the same time so it is a uh, really interesting to see but we still don't necessarily know exactly what the wish manito made on the dragon so if he was to actually have made some sort of a wish or maybe he canceled it i don't know because like you can summon the dragon and maybe just not uh summon or make a wish per se but i don't know that's a thought but maybe they will reveal that in the next chapter for next month so look forward to this upcoming episode of the full power podcast it will be delayed by at least a day just because we had to reschedule to make sure that we recorded once this chapter came out so that we could talk about it this week since it's going to be like the new hot thing to talk about for you know the the next week or so so make sure you guys are liking this video let's make sure we hit 100 likes and beyond let me know your thoughts in the comments below like share subscribe i already said all that description it will have all of the ways that you can support me and whatnot but make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves may the power protect keep it locked loaded right here on this channel stay safe stay clean stay inside i'll see you all next time